Hello. So we've got it so we can kill this slime by clicking on it, but we actually don't want to kill the slime by clicking on it. What we'd like to do is uh, make it into an action game. So today what we're going to do is create ourselves a little avatar, and this is like the roughest possible avatar. Basically we're going to create a ground. Plane, there it is. And uh, it's already got a mesh collider, and that'll all work fine. So now all we need to do is make it big. How about 10 by 10 by 10? There we are. And put uh, a material on it just so it doesn't look awful. Now the slime material is not the best choice, so let's create a new material. Uh, let's just duplicate the slime material now that I'm thinking about it. And we will call this dirt. So the dirt material that we're going to be using, we want to change uh, lots of the things about it, and later on we're actually going to make it very different. But for now, just making it sort of like, it looks kind of like the lunar surface, I guess. Um, something like that will do fine for now. We just need to make it so that we can see the slime on it. Later on we will do a lot more work uh, making that look decent. Um, we might as well just increase the tiling. Nope. That'll make it look bad. Alright. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and stick ourselves in. So, we're going to use the default first-person controller, and that means we have to import the character controller packages. You can just import them all. The default controllers are um, not very good, but they're good enough for mocking things up, and that's what we're doing right now. Doink. One thing you'll notice is that it has a camera in it, and we've got a camera down here. We don't want this camera, but we do have the death click script attached to it. So if we want that death click to actually work, we're going to have to attach it to this camera instead. Now, the first person controller is already set up and ready to go, so when we hit play, it just works, see? Now, this is not ideal. There's a lot of things that I don't like about it. First things first, we've got this giant canvas here. This HUD is no longer useful to us. So what we're going to do just to make this HUD work uh, in the short run, we're just going to move this off the screen. Um, later on, we want to turn it into an actual HUD with like HUD elements, but for now, we'll just get rid of it without deleting it. The other thing we need to do is we need to lock the mouse to the center of the screen while uh, while we are not in menu mode. So to do that, we're going to create a character controller, which we will call a player... Um, call it an avatar controller, to separate it from other kinds of characters. And we'll drop that onto our first-person controller here. So there are a lot of things that we could do with our avatar controller. But the big thing we want to do is we want to staple the mouse to the screen and keep it there. Now depending on exactly what your environment is, you might do it up here in Start, or you might do it down here in Update. I'm actually going to do it down here in Update, um, just because it's a uh, lock cursor. There it is. Just because when I'm developing, there's still a bug where when you hit Play, the mouse is not actually in there, and it's somewhere else, see? So in order to make that work, I've got to re-enter the screen, and that means I've got to uh, make sure that it re-locks, and it's just kind of a pain in the ass to do it uh, more efficiently. So I'll just go ahead and do it really inefficiently, but it's hard to tell where the center of the screen is. So we're going to need to take this canvas we've got and put a little dot in the center of the screen. So we'll create a panel. Here it is. This panel is definitely not the right size. Let's put it in the center here. And let's make it uh, 4 by 4. And let's color it black. Well, that might be a little bit too um, small. So let's make it 6 by 6. And we can always change that later, turn it into something else. But just a little black dot in the center of the screen goes a long way towards helping you figure out what you're clicking on. See? So now we have a system where we can put down, you know, a couple hundred slimes if we'd like to. I just uh, duplicate them and move them around. Oh, let's, um, before we duplicate them, let's save them to our prefabs folder. 
to create a new folder inside of our prefab folder called enemies and save the slime there. That way when we edit the slime we won't have to delete all of our duplicates, but you can, they'll all be edited at the same time and that'll work out for us just, just fine. There we go. So now we are facing a troop of five slimes and uh, we have to click on each one to go through it. It looks like the mouse click is not actually coming from the center of the screen though. It looks like the actual position of the mouse is being remembered from wherever I was, as you can see. So our death click needs to be updated. The easiest way to update the death click is to simply make it so that instead of using input.mouse position on a screen point, it uses um, uh, ray. it uses viewport point to ray, and we can put in a viewport point of vector three dot one divided by two. I think that's correct. Oh, it is just lowercase one. We'll find out shortly here. That is a really annoying bug, but that's okay. Oh, maybe it just has a really big hitbox. That's right. We gave it a really big hitbox, I remember now. So I actually don't know whether that's necessary or not. I don't know whether when you lock the mouse it defaults to the center of the screen. But either way, our mouse, uh, our death click is only temporary and we will soon replace it with something that's a lot more interesting. The problem is this game is not intended to be a, uh, um, a first person game. It's intended to be a third person game with actually a fairly distant camera. Uh, almost a kind of um, uh, Dynasty Warriors sort of camera you know, a, a distant shoulder cam. And uh, that's because we want to be able to see enemies that aren't in front of us, and heroes that aren't in front of us, uh, out to, you know, two or three meters. However, what that means is that our first-person camera that we've got here is not very suitable, but it'll do for now. Uh, we've got it so that we can run around and click on things, and we can probably leave it like this for a while. Uh, it'll be a little bit of time before we uh, get to having a third-person camera. Our next step is to perhaps make it so that our attack is actually an attack. This is a pretty basic uh, episode, but I hope you found it useful. And that's it.